Tong Su's got his own as well, but that was really something. Timothy Choi to start it off. But that point, that very serious point as well, Adam, that you make, it is fascinating to hear that about the military service which helped Lee Sung Su. Yeah, part of me was thinking, of course, you want to get the Olympic medal if you can. For Im Jong Hoon, that'd be incredible. But in some senses, if he focuses on Los Angeles after going to the military, oh, it's a cannon. I'm gonna say he could get the best practice of his life in the military. Work for Lee Song Su. A backhand. Give it to me. Timothy Choi rocking and rolling on that edge to stay in the point. Currently in high school, imagine that. Oh, imagine them doing that whilst <laughs> in high school. Posters him up. Lee Song Su turns the corner. Timothy Choi turns in his homework late, but it all pays off. Now yeah, it's a hello as well to everyone watching in New Zealand. It's past midnight, it's into Sunday. You're staying up to watch this live with us and support New Zealand table tennis. We won't tell your parents, don't worry. I've been impressed so far with Timothy Choi. I just, he's taking his shots, he's dealing with the spin, he's taking all the right shots. This one doesn't miss by a lot. With the heat coming in, you've got one of the most powerful backhands in the world right here. The way he tucks back from the left hip is a bit unusual, Lee Sung Su. And a forehand flip of his own gets up in the air over that short forehand. He's got all the moves. Oh, so quick, what a cool replay. And the forehand from a step behind the table as well. It's a four to six game, just two points between them. This is a man, Lee Sung Su, has won a world championship bronze medal back in 2017. He's not being overawed by him at all, Timothy Choi. That is pretty crazy. The world championships, when you think about it, the Olympic games only two men can play or two women for the women's singles, but only two. World Championships, five. So that means that Yi Song Su outperformed three other China team representatives that year in 2017. He's also one of the last non-Chinese players to beat Fan Zhendong, the world number one. It was pretty recently. That's the type of thing that makes you wonder, should we send the world number one to the Olympic Games as a singles player? Wow, that would be a bold call, wouldn't it? To not send him? Yeah. It would be. I don't, I don't think, though, it's unheard of. Liu Shuan had been world number one for some time. Don't remember her ever playing in singles at the Olympic Games. Could be a memory thing for me. We'll check back, but understandable. Six game points now for Lee Song Su in front of the Korean crowd. And that is business as usual as far as Lee Sung Soo is concerned, finishing with a touch of class in the first game. 11 4. Backhand right off his heels. Good start for Lee Sung Soo, but also a good start from Timothy Choi.
There is a calmness here in the Bexco Convention Center with Team Korea in charge over New Zealand. Game number two. Really rolled to the right to get that parallel angle. And I think he's saying it hit. Sounded like it hit the side. Understandable. Timothy just saying, well, it definitely hit. I just want to be sure that we acknowledge that it hit something. And Timothy Choi says, yes, it was the side, my bad. That was nice. I liked it. Yi Song Su said, well, what do you think? <laughs> That's cool. That's respect. He was just checking. Just wanted to make sure it wasn't ignored that it did touch something. Normally, there's a little conversation about it or a moment of checking in. Last three. Well, look at the last uh, 16 points. Now 17, 14 of them going to Yi Sung Su. It's a real momentum wave for the Korean. The angle on this one, the way he fanned back for the forehand, Yi Song Su, it's dangerous. Look how far back he pulled and then hooks that ball with so much side and topspin. A little break here as well in the touch game. Little fortune favoring the high school senior. What's your theory on fortune, Adam, across the course of a career? Surely neck cords equal themselves out over the course of, let's say, 10 years, 15 years, however long. Well, while we've got it on screen, 90% success rate for Isang Su, 50% on his serve. In terms of table tennis karma, they say the ball is round, it all comes back. And this is why, again, in these shorter matches, there's a greater chance for an upset. The same reason that if you play, you know, one ball, someone gets a net or an edge, you feel like, really? Why me? Why am I on the receiving end of that? But generally, it tends to average out, it tends to even out. Style can matter. Oh, beautiful forehand flick. Choppers sometimes a little bit used to getting the net more in the sense that the ball comes floating back, but at the same time, the backspin would make it come back to their own side, whereas topspin would make the ball scale the net, climb it, or crawl forward. So it all balances out, you know? Little yin and yang here. Good serve from Timothy Choi. I suppose what you can't uh, countenance is when that luck happens. If it happens to you on match points or points to give you match point, then that's a bit lucky. Well, you remember it for sure. Alexi Lebron of France, him and his brother Felix have taken the world by storm. Beating world number one definitely helped put Alexi Lebron on the map. There was a bit of fortune in that point, but to get match point against the world number one, it can't be all fortune. He simply outplayed him. Beautiful counter exchange here. Keeps him behind the table, but Yi Song Su loaded. Has a response ready from way back. Shuffling around and he's got the time. Practicing that backhand counter and the ball comes in chest height. It is very difficult to hit a backhand that's near your collarbone. Jorgen Persson, who you might have a chance to see here, coaching Sweden. One of few who could handle that shot well. As fast as can be, full commitment, recognizing the opportunity. 10-4, big buddy. It's Lee Song Su with six game points. Just too fast. Serves with Timothy Choi now. It's unbelievable how much power he generates with that backhand, but I like that Timothy's playing smart and placing his serve well. He's not afraid to go into the storm. A nice shot. It. Yeah, beautiful shot of his own on the parallel here. Taking his chances with the backhand, a little clip of the net along the way, but a fearless play, perfect form. If I were one of his classmates in school right now, 
I'd be waiting with a giant sheet of paper and a marker. Incredible rally, the stamina. To even do that two or three times in a row takes the wind out of you. Timothy Choi showing patience, patience, precision, power, and everything necessary to finally finish a point against a player who we've already seen cause damage from that far back. And this is now four in a row for Timothy Choi. Best streak of the match, and all four of them on game point against him. Short serve, hooked in. Frustration starting to settle. Five of the last eight points by Timothy Choi, and he continues the streak. What a time to throw in a different serve from Timothy Choi. He's just thinking a little bit ahead of Lee Sung Soo at the moment. It's not over yet. Nine serving ten. He does close it out, Lee Sung Soo. The first five opportunities missed, but he gets the sixth. Very smart play, spins this one, heavy spin, and it's the second one, the rocket backhand. It felt like a 90%, took just a little bit off it, and he said, woo, <laughs> that was close. If you need me to do any ADR for Lee Song Su, let me know. 11 to 4, 11 to 9, and at least one more game to come. Was that not the cutest thing you've ever seen? <laughs> These kids here are adorable. So days one to five to mark everyone's cards out there. If you want to be with us for the full 10 days, the men's final is on day 10, but uh, working back from that women's final on day nine, we're currently at the group stages, of course, for the first five days of action. This is day two. We then move into the round of 32 and last 16 quarterfinals after that. Semis and quarters the day after. It is a full schedule of table tennis coming up. Eight days to go after this. Now, Jack, this is something you and I have talked about. When people get really close to someone who's way better in the world rankings but can't cross the finish line, does that just completely suck the soul out of you? Well, it doesn't seem that way. Timothy Choi came out with a quick long serve. He seems even more determined than last game. And he gets Lee Song Su to hit the table with a perfectly half-long serve, the opposite direction. Reverse pendulum. It doesn't leave a lot of space. Seven of the last eight points for Timothy Choi. Adam, yesterday, Timothy Choi was two games to love up in his match when New Zealand faced Chile, and he came back to, to lose the encounter. So he's had it done to him. Can he do it to Lee Sung Soo? Well, it would definitely be on his wish list, but he's going to be focusing on one shot at a time, let alone the entire point. And it's working out well here. He's mixed up his serves quite well. The facial expression for me of Lee Sung Soo in the last game said it all. He said, I escaped. He said, geez, that was too close for comfort. I'm, I'm in uh, a different position than I thought I'd be in at this point. This guy can play. This high schooler from New Zealand is legit. He's not even pulled out his Chiquita flick, which he was warming up oh so nicely in the warm-up hall earlier. Timothy? Timothy Joy. Oh, wow. Yeah, wonderful Chiquita. Yeah, the banana flick known as Chiquita in Japan can be very effective. Top men in the world do it. A timeout called on Timothy Choi's side.
national team coach Daniel Yanto Wei is also Timothy Choi's club coach. The Tornado Club on Auckland's North Shore is the club which actually his coach founded back in 2019. Started it himself. Timothy Choi, as well as Max Henderson, are part of that club. Knows him very, very well. Two behind Timothy Choi. Oh, oh, heavy clip of the net from uh, X. That is radical change of direction. And you know what? Timothy Choi is not far away from pulling out a wonder shot. Just can't get to grips with that one. Yeah, went long. Little reminder, you're a classmate right now of Timothy Choi. You might be thinking, damn, that's my classmate on TV for the whole world to watch. And yes, right now, seven of the last eight points and then another for Yi Song Su. But Yi Song Su is one of the few who's recently beaten world number one. And some of these shots that we Three see the quality, down. the hook on that ball, just nonstop. He's really finding his groove, Yi Song Su. Talk about moving someone around the table. Yi Song Su can move you around the whole arena with the variety. And angles that he finds. He's got this angle right now of seven match points. And he's not going to take the first. <laughs> well, he was six in front in the last game. And um, there may be some very fresh memories that he's trying to put to the back of his mind. And Timothy Choi just can't handle that serve. Lee Sung-soo wins.